Uh, shall we go to like class? We shall. What's oh, up, Uniters? Oh. Welcome to this week with Now United. So today we thought of doing something a little bit different. We thought about including you guys in this episode and we are going to be answering questions you guys are afraid to ask. This is going to yeah. be juicy. There's some juicy questions. More specifically, lie. questions that usually boys are scared to ask girls and questions that girls are scared to ask boys. Yeah. Yeah. Let's <laughs> get started. Okay, Zane, tell us if... Oh. The boys are also afraid in the first kiss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. And it's something that it, it's something that at least girls wise they think that guys don't talk about. It. Dudes talk about us all the time. Like I remember being in school and um, my friends coming up to me and saying like they got their first kiss and none of us had before and we're like no way. No way. They were like freaking out. Like, no way. But uh, but there is there's like a you're not supposed to you're not supposed to freak out too much about it or like you'll scare the girl away so. <laughs> <laughs> but guys do guys do freak Honestly, out. Honestly, it's scary. Well, I was, gonna, I was gonna say like for a boy it's way more scary. I don't know why. Mm. Like I've heard this so much because yeah. I have a lot of guys friends. Maybe okay. That's the yeah. reason why like I yeah. know that it's something like it's like the biggest thing for them. They're like, yeah, it's oh, huge. Yeah. I'm just gonna say I was scared. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you you know, I remember. <laughs> 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 Guys, it's a big thing. It's like okay, yeah. Okay. I was okay, afraid. okay. Well, I would say stress. It's a little That's stressful scary. in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah but like, then, what do no, I do? Oh no, it's scary. It's scary. Okay, we'll move on. We'll move on. I feel like my best friend and myself, so a boy and a girl, are very close, and I'm kind of falling for him. What should I do? Ooh. This is so cute. This is a sticky situation. My opinion on that would be, um, this is gonna go two ways. Oh, Nor gives the best advice. So it's either we'll you guys are going we'll to um, follow with that and tell each other that you guys like each other, and then you'll see where that goes, or you guys need to be away from each other because it's yeah. going to be very hard, yes, and impossible for you guys to be friends but also like each other. It's yeah. impossible. It's true because there will there will be a weird moment that happens eventually. Yeah, it's like both of you guys are on the same path. You guys both like each other. You're getting to the point of dating, and so there's going to be a point where both of you guys collide. Like collide. There's going to be a weird moment where a decision has to be made. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh huh. Yeah. And so before that weird moment gets there, you better it's better to talk about it and yeah. save you guys both the awkwardness. Because yeah. I promise yeah. you, the conversation is going to be way less awkward than whatever that weird moment but is. But mm -hmm. also think about like if you like your best friends with this guy, do you want it to be like your your staying best friend with okay, this guy? Okay, so that's what I was. But that's say, so. Why? Because they like each other so that, already. So that's the well, thing. Like you need to be you need to be <laughs> aware of something like. You need to be willing to lose the friendship because it's you guys are not gonna stay friends if you actually wanna you know like do it like go if up you want to pursue something yeah. like if you wanna do that then you you are willing to lose the friendship but if you're not willing to lose the friendship then you have to be to be separated from the person yeah but then also be but it's a tricky be, situation be honest with yourself yeah. and and look inward on the way that you feel because there's a lot of times that I feel like people will mistake that liking somebody for um, it's just somebody that treats you really well mm -hmm. you know and so be honest be like mm -hmm. does he just treat me really well mm -hmm. or do I genuinely want a relationship yeah, with him because if you answer that and you can genuinely say like no I just think he's somebody that treats me really well then I think that you can be honest with yourself and say well maybe I don't want to date him maybe it's just somebody that I've never been treated like this before and so that's where that kind of like scariness Comes yeah. from rather than like I have a crush on this you person. Need to ask yourself. Yeah. You need to be ready. So overall, trust your gut and ask yourself what you want. Oh, this is juicy. I want to break up with you, but I can't tell him. Ooh. Oh. Just don't do it over text. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> like honestly, you need to have clarity and do it in person. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. your mind will not be. You won't feel right, and together you won't know where it's going, and if it's over text, then it's just like, it's really cruel. It's, it's also yeah. disrespectful yeah, also, to the relationship. Yeah. yeah. So you guys did like each other, so. Even if you're like, 
oh, is it worth it? Like, it, should I just keep going? If you already have this doubt in your mind, it means that maybe you don't feel like what you're doing is right. So just face what you have to face because there's no point of like keeping avoiding the situation because at yeah. some point you're gonna feel like so unhappy and you're probably gonna be making the person feel like bad too mm -hmm. so yeah. don't think only about like of course you have to think about yourself because of course you don't you you don't want to be in this relationship anymore and also you have to think about the person does the person deserve to be with someone that doesn't really like her anymore like you know in a relationship in general communication is very important so whatever you need you need to like communicate it and if you're done you communicate it if you're yeah. still going you're communicating mm -hmm. you know what i mean like yeah. it's always about the communication biggest yeah. it's the biggest thing can i just say we are not experts on relationships or all the, <laughs> the things that we're answering we're just going on what we know are. so <laughs> Yeah, really says, young says you. Well. This says you. We're giving great advice, right? We are giving great advice. I'm just saying, don't take everything word by word. You know what I mean? Okay. What are the things in girls guys notice first? Ooh, I think this is this is this is a total this is a total preference question. Nine times out of ten, you are going to see um, a girl's face first. Like you're gonna lock eyes first. Like it's instinctual when you see a figure that kind of looks like a face out of the corner of your eye and you kind of like look over and snap. Uh, it's the same. So for me always, I always see um, like a smile or eyes first. Okay. That's, and I, every guy that I talk to, in all honesty, most of them say the same. Exactly. Smile or eyes? Yeah. After eyes and smile, I see like hair and... Hair and... Yeah, bald or not. <laughs> I think that um, <laughs> the only way to understand girls from a guy's perspective um, is to realize that you never will and to live your life according to That's them. That's what I'm saying! I think, that, I think that people are too special and too unique to just lay a blanket over, over all of them. Okay guys, that was so much fun getting some questions from you guys. We hope you learned something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we sure did get a lot of insight from, from this. this. Yeah. Uh, shall we go to like class? We shall. Yeah, yeah. let's Please. go to class. So we'll see you guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Follow me inside the Academy of Hall. Today I am going to have my singing lesson with Berkeley and I'm going to sing How Will I Know by Whitney Houston, which is a very hard song. I tasted it yesterday for the first time trying to sing this song and honestly it was pretty hard, but today I'm going to sing with the mic and we'll see how it looks. I have a singing lesson with Berkeley right now and we are learning a new song and I'm going to show you guys a little sneak peek of what we do in our singing lesson. Hopefully, he's not too honest, which he always is in the most loving way. Um, but, <laughs> but yeah, well, you'll probably see some clips of this, but either way, see you in a minute. Walk in with, with some real, you know, something to that. Here we go. Dance, we're about to sweat, aren't we? <laughs> I didn't get what you say. <laughs> so we're about to sweat, so we're gonna see. Oh yeah, after for like. We we'll see you after that because yeah. we're about to get stronger. <laughs> Yeah, we're just gonna give it a go. Just give it a go, yeah. I take it you haven't had any emergencies. 
Alright, so I guess I'm a lucky guy. To my three beautiful girls. Come on! She has no vision, no sense of future. I could not say no. Well, then you forgot why I'm still mad at her, why I don't talk to her. <sighs> okay, we just finished our acting class. Yes! Yeah. Uh yeah, honestly, we had like two different scenes. So Savannah was um, doing a scene with Zane, and the three of us were together. So we are learning a lot here at the Academy of Pop. We are acting like almost every week. Yeah. Yeah. It's, oh, it's been literally every week, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we do a lot every week we now. We do a lot every week. It's been really fun. We're learning, we're growing as artists and performers, and we're glad to show you a bit of our day. Yeah. yeah. That's just a little glimpse of what we've been doing here. Uh -huh. um, and we love you guys and thanks for tuning in and watching us and we'll see you in the next see one. See you soon. Bye. Love you all. Love you guys. Bye.